Hey guys, it's Lauren, and welcome to my 12 days of Christmas desserts. Today I'm going to show you how to make extra royal icing for your gingerbread house. So pretty much every gingerbread kit that you get from any store has royal icing with it, but the problem is, is it's like the tiniest little thing of icing and I always run out. So we're going to open this and we're going to see just how tiny our little icing thing is. Anyways, I always end up needing more and that's why I'm sharing this recipe with you today. All right, so we got some peppermints. Oh, we got some cute little candy cane sprinkles. Star gumdrops, nice, nice. This one's from Costco, by the way. It's a gingerbread mansion, not just a gingerbread house. We're going gingerbread mansion this year. What an upgrade. All right, I hope I don't break it. Maybe I should have got another hand. Okay, wait, okay. Gummy Christmas trees. Here we go. This is the packet of icing they give you for your entire house. And okay, I will say this one from Costco comes pre-built, so that's nice. So you don't have to waste your icing on that. But normally you get this pack of icing or smaller and they expect you to assemble your gingerbread house with that and decorate it. I don't know about you guys, but I run out every single year and I always have to make more. Okay, you luck out with this pack and they give you two little red and green ones, but still, this is so tiny. I like to get really artsy fartsy with my gingerbread houses or my gingerbread mansion rather this year. I'm gonna run out, I have to make more. Wow, this is a really stellar kit. They even give you tips. I mean, they're plastic ones, but this is great. I know what you're probably thinking. Lauren, you just made a video with sugar cookies and royal icing. Well, joke's on you because this one is different. So the main difference with this royal icing recipe is that it uses meringue powder instead of pasteurized egg whites. You can really use either recipe. This batch is just a little bit bigger and I wanted to give people an option if they can't have eggs or if they don't have meringue powder. So this way, now you guys have both. So the beauty of this recipe is it is easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and you only need about three ingredients. You're going to need one pound of powdered sugar, which I've measured out here. Then you're going to need a fourth a cup plus one tablespoon of meringue powder, or 45 grams. And then finally, you're just going to need a half a cup of water. And then of course, food coloring is optional, but if you're going to use it, I strongly recommend gel food coloring, and I get the brand AmeriColor. Also, you can mix it in your standing mixer, but if you don't have a mixer, you can definitely just use a bowl and whisk. If you're curious about the specific colors that I'm using today, I have super red and forest green. So first, we're just going to add the powdered sugar. Ooh. Then we're going to add the meringue powder. Our half a cup of water. And then we're just going to fit our mixer with our whisk attachment, and we're going to whisk it all together until it becomes smooth. And just make sure to scrape down the sides in between. All right, once your icing has come together, you can see that it's a little bit of a thicker royal icing. So if you wanted to use this recipe for cookies, instead I would suggest adding some water. That way you can do the flooding on your sugar cookies. But for the purposes of decorating a gingerbread house, we want it a little bit thicker because that way we can stick all of our candies onto our gingerbread. So now to color our frosting red and green, all we're going to do is take a little bit and put it in these bowls with a couple drops of food coloring. Once all of your royal icing is your desired color, we're going to transfer it into a piping bag. Now I've fitted this piping bag with a coupler and a small round tip. So a coupler basically just allows you to swap out different piping tips, that way you can do all sorts of cool designs.
And there you have it guys, super easy royal icing for building and decorating your gingerbread house. Happy holidays, happy decorating, and happy eating. Now for the best part, I get to decorate mine! If you made what you saw here, don't forget to tag me at Hugh Eats With You on Instagram. And don't forget to hit subscribe. As always, you can find my full written recipes at HughEatsWithYou.com. Happy eating! Where's another set of hands when you need it? Please don't break. Ooh. I'm gonna wreck it. I'm gonna wreck it. Ooh, okay, there we go. Ooh.